Hello and welcome everyone to a new video on Mortal Kombat 11. Today we recently got some DLC news regarding Mortal Kombat 11 and uh, this DLC is said to be coming out later this month I think around the 26th so we only have a couple weeks until it comes out which is great but the DLC ranges from all sorts of interesting content like new playable characters that we can look forward to we've got stage fatalities we've got new stages and we even got friendships coming back to the series which is going to be really cool because I always like the um, friendship um, finishers from the classic Mortal Kombat game so it's going to be really cool to see those make a comeback in Mortal Kombat 11 but the big thing that a lot of people are talking about and are looking forward to regarding all this DLC is none other than Robocop is going to be a playable character he's the next guest character and everybody can't stop talking about him so that's the big thing. Okay, so I'm actually joking. It's not Robocop. Although Robocop is going to be um, a playable character, that's not the big news. The big news, if you don't already know, is that Mortal Kombat 11 is getting a story mode DLC. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this. You know, I'm always for a story mode DLC. This is something that I was really hoping MKX would have done. I was hoping, you know, MKX would have given us a story mode DLC that kind of featured the events of the MKX comics, but in a gameplay format for those who didn't read the MKX comics. And it would have just been cool to have played that in a game format because it means we would have saw characters like Havoc. But it never did happen, but luckily MK11 is going to give us a story mode DLC, and it seems like an interesting one. You know, it starts off at the end of the initial story for MK11, where it's Raiden and, you know, Fire God Liu Kang, and Liu Kang's about to change the flow of time, but Shang Tsung, Fujin, and Nightwolf appear out of this portal and basically say that you got to get the crown of Kronika before you can even do anything. So we're going to have to go back in time to where Kronika is alive, get the crown at Shang Tsung's island, and, you know, go from there. And I think this is going to be a very interesting story because it's like, How's this going to play out? Kronika is going to be alive again. Shang Tsung, you know, can you actually trust Shang Tsung? When will he stab your back and, you know, take the crown for himself and try and have ultimate power? Like, there's so many questions regarding that. And since we're going back in time, is Liu Kang going to stay Fire God Liu Kang? Or will he lose that status and Raiden becomes a Thunder God again? You know, or will they coexist as both Fire God and Thunder God? I think it's going to be interesting how that could play out, but one of the biggest things that I'm really interested in is Sindel's character. In the trailer, we briefly see Sindel in this trailer, and Katana sort of interacts with her, but the reason I'm so interested in Sindel's character is because way back when she was first announced as a DLC character, we, we saw her bio, and they retconned her character to where she was always evil she was never good she was always evil she served Shao Kahn she killed her husband purposely so Shao Kahn could take over and that's never been who her character was and it doesn't even make sense in the context of this timeline because in MK9 Quan Shi when he resurrects Sindel puts a spell on Sindel to where she wants to serve Shao Kahn if Sindel was always evil and served Shao Kahn, what was the purpose of the spell Quan Chi put on her in MK9? It's just a really weird retcon that they did to the character that no one really wanted. And so I'm hoping that Sindel gets redeemed and they fix her character in this story mode DLC and Katana brings her back to the Day of Light and um, hopefully that will happen. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to in the story mode along with all the other stuff. But Aside from the story mode, like I said, there's plenty of other cool content to look forward to, like all these characters that we're going to get. The biggest one being Fujin. Fujin's a character that everybody's been wanting for the longest time. The last time we actually got to play as Fujin in an official Mortal Kombat game was Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and that came out in 06, 07. So it's been a while since we've got to play as Fujin, and even then, it's been since... Mortal Kombat 4, I believe, that we got to play as Fujin and he had his own unique fatalities because you got to remember Armageddon had that custom create a fatality thing going on where every character had the same fatality where you could like pull off different limbs and stuff, but you did it in like a unique pattern if you wanted to. 
So it's been since four that we got uh, unique fatalities and stuff like that for Fujin. So I'm really looking forward to getting this character back. On top of that, we got Shiva coming back. And, you know, like I said earlier, we got RoboCop, but I'm not too big on RoboCop. I know some might be looking forward to it, but I'm not huge on guest characters as is. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat characters. I do like guest characters, but in small amounts, not insane amounts where half the DLC is guest characters. I would prefer it be like a 60-40 or something like that, Mortal Kombat characters. But... Regardless, those are the characters we're getting. I think Shiva will be an interesting one to play as. Um, because I don't think this game has a Shokan. Because Goro wasn't in this one. We didn't get Kataro. So to get Shiva, that's going to be pretty cool to have that character. But on top of that, you know, I'm looking forward to these stage fatalities. We got to see in the trailer, I think Scorpion gets descended down into, a, into an acid bath. So, I mean, that's pretty neat. That we're getting those back because those are an iconic type of fatality you know the stage fatalities were always a cool thing and then on top of that new stages i'm definitely looking forward to new stages i always will welcome new stages because playing the same stages can get repetitive and kind of boring so to get new stages will definitely amp up the replay value of this game so i'm looking forward to the new stage and everything and then like i said before friendships definitely looking forward to friendships because I always loved them in the classic Mortal Kombat games. And so to get those back are going to be really cool. I don't think we ever had friendships in the 3D era. I could be wrong, but it's been a while since I've played the 3D era. Aside from Deception. And I know Deception didn't have them. So I'm looking forward to it. I think um, the ones that we saw were pretty interesting. You know, Scorpion, he like uses his spear and brings in a giant teddy bear and hugs it. I think Sub-Zero brings in like an ice cream parlor or thing or whatever and starts making ice cream so i think that's pretty interesting so definitely looking forward to the friendships and then on top of that the last thing the skins that we got to see at the end of the trailer i thought those skins looked pretty awesome score pin and sub zero skins particularly caught my eye i really like the way those looked and i think i saw a tweet somewhere by ed boone that stated like the skins and i think the stages and everything were going to be uh free DLC I think that's what he said so if that's the case that's definitely an added bonus and um yeah that's Mortal Kombat 11's DLC and all the great stuff to be looking forward to from story mode and everything I want to end this video here and I'll see you all in the next one see you then